time for a garage sale haul. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Full time reseller. All right, let's get started. Okay, so let's start with cats meow these are little like shelf sitters i got three i'm sorry four boxes full one box i've already started to list and it had a lot of multiples in it um, these three boxes appear to be mostly um, all unique and different so the reason i chose the other box first is because i wanted to get some up and listed so cat's meow it, I was hoping I bought it without looking at anything because she told me 30 bucks for all of it and I felt like I couldn't go wrong with that. If the Halloween items would have been in here, it would have been a huge score. Now I'm guessing uh, maybe I have two or 300 pieces. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't counted. I haven't completely uh, looked through each one yet, but um, I have started sorting somewhat and I do have some listed, but it should definitely be a uh, nice profit. That yarn I have not looked up. I did not look up this dimensions yet either. I believe it is opened, so I'm hoping that it is complete. I always grab um, cross stitch kits when I see them. These are just little boxes, I guess. Oops, hold on, I'll show you in a minute. So these are drawer pulls and knobs, and they have like um, uh, dried flowers inside of them. They're really beautiful. I have not looked them up. I, I tried looking up what it said on the back. That it says like um, AX Company, I think, but I could not find anything, so I need to just look up dried flowers. And at the end of the video, I will show you some comps, but I did not do those. All right, so these are just little boxes, which are great for shipping jewelry. And you guys know I have tons of jewelry, so I was really excited to get that. All right, you guys, this might be a huge score. Um, it's, oh, I can't remember what it is. I'm going to show you the, the listing here of one that sold. But it's had like the Indian head on it, and I think it's, um, well, we'll just look in a minute. But it is a mess. And I don't know if it's worth trying to clean it up because I think part of it is missing and you'll see why in a second. <clears throat> but I got this. Okay, so here's the listing I found that is the most similar to it. And you can see it sold for 500 and I believe $41. Yes, but this is in much better condition than mine. And if you look at, hold on, let me get to the picture here. It has like a base to it, this, and mine does not have that base. So I'm guessing mine is incomplete. However, I do think it still has value, but do I want to take the time to figure out how to clean a cast iron waffle, whatever it is? <laughs> not sure what I'm going to do. So I got that. Um, waffle thing and then I got these two little owls and these little cast iron these are cast iron also but these little cast iron uh, pans and they're miniature and I think I paid 15 for all of those things so I definitely am not going to go wrong and I'll show you some comps at the end of the video on some of these items here that I'm showing you so that's like for those that miniature stove but they're super, super cute. That's a Black Beauty DVD set. I didn't look it up yet. I picked this up at a garage sale. I paid a dollar for all of it, and it's just a bunch of random keys. Um, I could probably sell the box also, but I really wanted the keys. I'm gonna look through them, see if there's anything maybe of value. I paid a dollar, so I can't really go wrong. These guys, okay, so at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how I figured out what this was and um, I how, how I found it on Google and then I went to Etsy and then I wanted to know what it sold on Etsy for. So I show you how to look up a sold price on Etsy. 
Okay, this one I have not looked up either, but it's CDs. So I think that'll do really well. It's just like music. Um, like, I don't know, maybe you'd hear in a spa or something. This is a Harry Potter hat. So um, it was 50 cents. I can't go wrong at 50 cents, right? And then I have this one, which is, I think, Bob's Burgers or something. And it was 50 cents. And these are all from a garage sale, multiple garage sales. That's just a movie with a bunch of Christmas things. I'm going to look at the, um, look at it and see how bad it is. I bundled some stuff. This is like a, a little horse. I always pick up horses and little animal figurines, and then I lot them together. So that's like a, a goat. No, that's a goat. What's that other thing? A sheep? <laughs> anyway, I don't know what this is. A letter opener? Do you guys know? Is that a letter opener? So I don't even know where to begin looking that up. And again, the prices that you see on the stuff are the prices. Whoops, there went the horse's head. I'm going to have to repair that. Um, I don't know what this is made of. It It's very heavy. It feels like a rock. <laughs> so got to do some research on that bunny. Got to fix that. And then... I picked up a bunch of drawing books. Um, I did try to look up the dragon and fantasy one, and I did not see any solds, but there were some listed for like 10 bucks, nothing big. Um, I haven't looked the others up. I, I bundled these with the movie and the animals. I think the animals. I don't know. I, I did a bundle, so I got a good deal. This little owl is a, um, I think it's a uh, towel hanger, and it is so cute. Have not looked him up either. I kind of forgot about him. And then there's a key. You guys, I don't know if you saw my key video, keys and locks that sell well, Bolo category video. And then these little salt and pepper shaker. It's, um, oh, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, House of Lloyd, which I've sold before and done really well with. And I think I got it for like a dollar. So it was worth taking a chance on. Um, Back of gone, I think is how you say it. Pick these up whenever you see them. I got, I think there's 30 some there, plus all the cards, and I paid $8, and I will do well on those. Those are definitely a bolo. These West Wings were sealed. Two of them were sealed, one was not. I'm like, oh, they're sealed. You know, they're a series that should do well. Comps don't look very good. I haven't looked the cards up, but they were uh, Las Vegas vintage cards. And I have a video on vintage cards to be on the lookout for also if you guys missed that one. More fruit. You guys, I'm turning into a fruit finder. I looked up and found the exact listing that is exactly like these. And I'm going to show you guys at the end um, what they sold for. But they're really pretty. The stems have fallen off of some of them, so I do need to repair those. I can probably just hot glue, gu hot glue them with a glue gun. I'm thinking, um, I don't know. Seems easy enough. Okay, they're really pretty. And then this horse, I believe it is wrapped leather. It says, I believe it has a sticker on the bottom that says made in India. And it's, it's really, really beautiful and fantastic condition. And I do have this up for auction right now. So we shall see. All right, so I'm just going to show you some of the comparables I found. This is the Little House of Lloyd um, Salt and Pepper Shaker. There were no solds, but this one is currently listed for $19.99. The West Wing was a big disappointment. Um, hoping maybe they'll do better on Mercari where it's not so flooded, but the solds were not great at all. But I did not have much, I didn't pay much for them. So I think maybe a dollar each. I'll definitely make money, but not what I had hoped. Some of those series can do really, really good. The DVD series. So definitely look them up if you see them. Don't be like me and buy it without looking it up. So the little owls that I got are cast iron. I don't know if they are ashtrays or if they're like a spoon rest. But mine are different from these. But these will give you an idea of what the little owls are selling for. And these were the only solds that I could find. And then here is the glass fruit. Does that not look exactly like mine? I think I have one extra piece. Um, and I thought that maybe they were cracked, but I think they're supposed to have that crackled look to them 
because theirs do also. They're really beautiful. So um, I'm not sure how I'm going to list mine yet. I think they undersold theirs, but uh, that's just my opinion. We'll see if I can get them fixed up. All right, so here's the cat's meow. So like I said, if you have the Halloween big money, $299.99, those Halloween sold for. But there's also unique pieces that were made for certain stores to sell exclusively. And I think some of those can go for more also. Most of these items are going to be bread and butter. But if you take, let's just say on the low end, I have 200 of them. 200 items of bread and butter, let's say I sold them for a dollar each, which I'm not going to do, that'd be $200. So, I mean, on average, I think I'm going to make around $5 and up on each one after fees and everything. So that's my hope. So I'm hoping that's going to be a big score. All right, there, this is that little cast iron pan, and it's a, I think it's a Wagner, and it, this one sold for $15. It's just a little miniature pan. It's super cute. So I'll definitely uh, list that. And mine is in fantastic condition, just like this one. And then, I don't know why I went back to that. Okay, so here is that horse thing. So I messaged my friend Leah's Bits and Pieces and I said, hey, Leah, can you help me with this? Because she always finds stuff. And she couldn't find it, but she called it a wood trinket box. So I put in wood trinket horse box. And it took me to Google, and I found the image. And it took me to Pinterest. And then it took me to Etsy. And I'm like, well, I want to know what it sold for. So I went to flippertools.com. I think it's .com, yeah. And then you go to um, Etsy sold price, and you click on that. And then you copy and paste the link of the listing and it will pull it up and show you what it sold for. So not as good Be as Be sure I to thought. check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.